Hello, Redium here, and we're back to Xenonauts after a very long time. <laughs> Sorry for that, um, if anyone who has been watching it. Uh, I've just kind of gotten a bit lazy and I've been recording like other things like Zomboid and NS2 and... I've been thinking about starting a... I'm not, not quite sure if, if it would be called a playthrough, but doing some videos of Elite Dangerous because I like that game, there's just not enough content on it just yet. I'm kind of waiting for the release, which is the 16th I believe. Um, anyway, I've had to go back and watch my last recording to remember exactly what we were doing here. So, we hadn't lost anyone yet, but I believe, like, at the end of the last episode, I moved, yeah, TUs, I'm looking at the TUs. We've moved them up to here, and there was an alien standing, just the inside, in the next room. So, we're going to try it, and finish this terror mission in an hour. <laughs> That's two episodes for you guys, but, uh, oh god, I just these terror missions, sometimes I can go for a very long time. But yeah, I'm glad that I finally started this new uh, playthrough. I've been wanting to start a new one for a long time now. And it's worth mentioning that I've uh, just passed the 20 subscriber mark. And it's just come out of nowhere. Like the last month or two, I've, you guys have just started <laughs> uh, pushing that number up like crazy. And thanks for that. I just never expected it to start picking up this quickly and so suddenly. But anyway, let's get back into the game. Uh, as always, just remember, if you want to, a soldier named after you, just uh, answer, post it in the comments. Okay, so, first up, I think we're going to leave these two there. We're going to have to have met to Nameless. I believe he got hit last time because the hitboxes are weird. So we're going to move him back. Make him face this way. I am worried about Nameless getting killed, because he is pretty low. I can't, yeah, okay, so we had Vladimir move up and heal him last time, evidently. I didn't watch the full thing, just like the last minute or so. So, what are we going to do about this? I think everyone's in a good enough position right now. Can't really get in a better position. So I'm just going to end the turn, I think. Alright, could be a bad idea. I guess we'll see. Okay, that seemed... Uh, lucky I turned nameless there, otherwise he would have been hit in the side again. Because it seems bullets go through the tank. I didn't think they would. So, got more androids walking through walls. Oh, that's right. That... <laughs> right as I say it, or about to say it, this guy, I just remembered, he killed, like, um, an alien and wounded another one up here. And he just bloody finishes off this drone by himself. This guy is a pro. Why are we even here? <laughs> Alright. Um, let's move shield. Right, I forgot we named this thing. Let's move shield up. It's a really corny name, isn't it? This map's very small. So it's a very long map. It's actually pretty good for us. I don't want to move it up by itself, though, because we're just going to end up getting it blown up. And I really don't want Nameless up in the front lines, so does he have any other weapon? No. Oh, we have plasma weapons. Right. Should have seen that before, seeing as it's so big on the screen, but whatevs. Let's uh, open the door here. Let's take a look. Oh shit. <laughs> I keep going trying to zoom in and out because I, I don't know. I'm, thinking it's like Zomboid controls or something, because they're very similar in their art style. And I only recorded that, like, what was it, like two days ago. And I am going to be, now that I've got, starting to record a lot more often as well, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to try, don't hold me to this, but I'm going to try to upload at least, uh, uh, upload a video a day, and I'm go going to the very least stick to the one video every two days. So you shouldn't get any of those really long gaps like last time. At the moment I've got a huge backlog of videos, about five. And I'm going to try and keep it that way. But, let's see if we can deal with this alien. This guy, I don't think, I don't believe I care about him way too much, because he doesn't have very good TUs, but... Can we... Okay, so we can't really get a good shot on this guy. Maybe I can... How much cover does this couch give him? 45, not bad. Let's try it. <laughs> it goes as I planned, but he didn't die. So that's a bonus. Now, Ito, what are you gonna do? 
You can run up here and shut the door. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Just trap him in there. Right. Then... I think... Ito can stand over here, because that way he kind of has to... Why is it not letting me... That he kind of has to walk out of the door and then get shot at. Now... So this, the, uh, the pro soldier, I don't know what we can call him other than that, skilled guy, he can, uh, he killed that drone, so we should be right for there. We don't know if there's anything behind this bus, but there probably isn't, I think it's safe to say. Um, let's move up behind this car, that could be a very bad idea though, use this Vladimir. He has decent to use though. We can actually shoot this guy in the back if we had a weapon. Did you put it in your bag? No you didn't, of course not, because I never do that. Oh, uh, God. So we're going to have to move him back and remember where he put his weapon? There it is. I just saw it. <laughs> so it's sitting there right behind. And we have a sniper. I didn't know that. So we still have the guy in the building, but we don't know where any other aliens are at this time. So I'm going to move Nameless behind this bus. It's probably a terrible idea. Whatever. Okay. Who hasn't moved? Artem and Mikhail. Well, there's no other better spot for you guys right now. I think. No. Okay, so we're gonna move Mikhail up here. No aliens. Excellent. Is that a... Okay. Okay, so if an alien comes in through here, then Mikhail's in a really bad position. But we do have the sniper that could probably help with that. And I really think they have updated the civilian's AI since I played it last, like, ages ago. Um, not the recording, I mean, like, way before that, when I played my first playthrough, because I don't remember them ever going, like, hiding behind your soldiers. It's pretty cool. Now let's, uh, end the turn here and hope no one gets shot. <coughs> like that. <coughs> oh, God. Was that really lucky? I can't really tell. I suppose she didn't die, so it's got to be lucky. <laughs> oh, we can't lose Ito. It's like the pro rookie. She could bleed out too, isn't she? Yeah, the eleven. I did. I honestly thought that Ito would be able to shoot. So, can you get in there, Ito? Uh, Ito, rather. get you out here at least so you don't get shot. And then we could probably get Vladimir up here and stop you from bleeding out at the very least. But we're gonna have to be very careful with Ito for the rest of this mission, unfortunately. I mean, I should be being careful anyway, but... Oh, this guy doesn't have any grenades because he's the shit guy who can't... <laughs> right. Who was it that was here? Alright, oh, okay. I'm just having like massive mental blanks here. So, what are we gonna do to kill this guy? No grenades, like no chance of hitting. Marek's next if uh, this alien decides to shoot. I can't really move him because he has shit to use. So, let's just take two shots and hope for the best. Of course, they're not gonna hit. Four damage, yes. You, Mikhail, you can probably hit him, can't you? You're pro. Maybe we can... Nah. Nah. Don't know why I tried that. Uh, let's... Would this grenade even hurt him? Maybe. Let's give it a shot. We'll actually land in the right spot. Okay. I'm kind of desperate for everything. Uh, to just... just Land some damage right now. I don't know if hiding behind this car is a good idea on hindsight because that's just going to blow up one hit probably. So, let's see if we can move the tank up. Maybe it can take a shot. Throwing everything we have right there, right now. Where can I actually. So that's just going to hit the car and blow up. There. That might work. Will that destroy the walls? 
Yeah, that's right. Did it kill him? Holy shit! <laughs> we just obliterated that house. Oh, but now we're very open. Oh, God. Let's move the tank up and see if we can distract them. I really don't want to lose the tank, though. Okay, sniper. Can you do it? So that'll cost you 43. How much will you have here? Not enough. At a normal. So if I move up to the car, I'm just estimating it'll probably be at 50%. It's better than nothing. Because, yeah, back there he's just going to hit the car. Ooh, better than I thought. Come on, let's hit him. Excellent. Didn't do enough, though. Now, Mikhail's already shot this turn. See, <laughs> I shouldn't have really shot back there. Um, Nameless is in a bad position. He does have a plasma pistol now, right? There's Pro. Is that house missing? No, it's not. That's weird. Normally you can see walls. There we go. So as far as we know, I'm going to move him back here so we can actually see this uh, little row of tiles. As far as we know, nothing can really get nameless right now, but that could really you know, like change in the drop of a hat. And that looks like an explosive weapon, by the way. So I think we might be okay because they have pretty bad range at, at that distance from memory. So we're going to have to run back Vladimir next turn to grab his stuff. But for the time being, everyone's used their TUs. Let's cross our fingers. And there's that grenade. Why didn't that explode? It's a bit weird. There goes the tank. <laughs> it served us well-ish this time. They die really quickly. We need to get better tanks once we get back out into the overworld. But... For the time, okay, good. I was worried that it actually wasn't recording right then. I couldn't see my uh, overlay. Okay, let's um, let's what? What are we gonna do? Let's move up, Jacob. See if we can check out this room. Nothing. Right. Okay. I don't really want to risk Mikhail, but. He is our best shooter, but that's an explosive weapon. I want to get closer before I try and hit this guy. What about you, the sniper? 95, but you can only shoot once. It's your shit. Okay, you know, you can shoot twice as long as you don't move. Right, let's do that. Five. Twenty-two. That's not bad. So this guy's probably on one hit. If I were to guess. But that's not a good chance of hitting. Okay. Okay. Tell you what, let's move behind this fence. Not much cover. But he has to move. Otherwise he's gonna just shit hit the car. And apparently we're gonna just shoot at his feet. That's excellent. Right. Artem. Does that give you any cover? hundred percent? I swear this game is temperamental. Wait, is it twenty-five or is it hundred percent? Do you see I see that? That's like that's weird. So just twenty-five on the edges. I'm so confused. Actually, that would make sense. That's why Nameless got hit. On the outside tiles, it's 25% chance of hitting. But if you try and shoot through the middle, it always blocks. I'm going to have to remember that. Um, for the time being, let's use this thing as cover. Hopefully it's right. So yeah, it's actually full cover. That's excellent. So if we move him here, we should be able to shoot, right? Yeah. No. What? I'm so fucking confused. So is it only on diagonals that it works? Alright. There's no 
the second way into this house, so... <sighs> Takichi. Don't die. What? Why do you have no line of sight? Well, I, I have a bad feeling that a reaper's gonna run in the corner and just pop him. But, uh, we'll see. Vladimir, you need to run back and grab your weapon. That'll bring you the long way around, though. Just chill here with the civilians. Nameless, I don't really want to move you up, but I suppose we have to. So is there just not many aliens on this mission, or are they all in the one spot? That's a scary thought. How many have we even killed this mission? I don't know. I'd have to watch through my whole recording to find out. So that guy decided not to shoot at Mikhail? Like I thought? Well, actually, I thought he would just try and shoot, but... We're behind the car, so there's a good chance it would have just hit the car. So. We're gonna risk Takashi here. Or are we? You're going to throw a grenade. Then can you... Yeah, you can step back, I think. Barely. Yeah, you... But you can't... You can't be hit by this guy. I don't think. You can, but it's not a good chance. You don't have much health, though, so one hit will kill you. So... <laughs> we'll see. Right, so we can't actually hit this guy now, which is good. See if Mikhail can get the hit first, because he's pro. He can take... Oh my god, I forgot how many to use uh, Mikhail had. We can't really afford to lose him. Let's take... Actually, we'll use the sniper first. See if we can get some ship damage on him. But I use NS2 terms for everything now, don't I? <laughs> right, so this guy should be on one hit. Then I won't have to risk anyone else. Yes, there we are. See, plasma weapons, so much better. Um, these uh, Iandrons have like a massive resistance to just default weapons. So if we can, we need to get name. Oh, but Nameless is nearly dead. We need to get like Nameless and Mikhail to deal with these guys. So for the time being, I can keep Mikhail here. He can get like a one extra hit off, but he is kind of by himself right now. Jacob can't move. Ito is injured. I'm gonna move Ito and uh, Takashi. I wish pronounce it, like, completely butchering these Asian names, but I don't know how to pronounce them. <laughs> Alright, so... Is that health pack worse? Yeah, okay, we'll keep the health pack, uh, but... We need to pick up the weapon, and we're gonna get Vladimir back in the fight. He has good to use. And who hasn't moved? Artem. We still haven't shot. Move you up with Mikhail. I think we'll send you through the house. Let's check it out. Right, that'll have to do. And Jacob has not moved yet. We'll get him ready to just jump the fence next turn. Because uh, we're going to have to fire everything we've got at this guy. Maybe move Mikhail up a bit. It's a bit of a risk, but I think there's a 100% chance. No, it's not. It's only a 50. Less? I'm not sure. But he's kind of covered from that angle. Just how much is that? Is that going to block me for nothing? God. And we've just seen another alien, so I'm going to have to move Mikhail. Uh, yeah. I am kind of, yeah, I am protected. The alien's gonna have to move into my line of sight and everyone else's to be able to hit Mikhail. And Nameless, I'm too nervous to move him right now. We know there's an alien here, there's probably more. So I'm just gonna leave him right here. What was that? Okay, so they're shooting at Mikhail. But we got lucky there. What's going on there? Why is the camera stuck? Probably a bug. We couldn't actually see what was going on, but there was an alien moving there. Right, it's been 20 minutes already. Wow. Hopefully, uh, there isn't many aliens left, and we're halfway through this mission. I don't like doing these terror missions. They're just so 
I don't know, nerve-wracking, I guess is the word for it. Not as bad as when I first played uh, <laughs> the um, Monster as Evolved, that was ridiculous. I watched that back again recently, it's just hilarious. My reactions to everything. But uh, anyway. Let's... Oh look, okay. you still have a good shot on this guy somehow. That's like coming out of the square next to him, do you guys see that? Right, right. anyway, I'm not complaining. Let's get, um, who's our sniper? I need to learn the name. Jacob. We have two Jacobs. I think we do. Let's get some chip damage on this guy. Good. At least the first bullet was good. Let's see if we can finish him off. Damn it! We're counting on you, Mikhail. You're gonna lose, lose some lives now. Jacob. Yeah, we do have two Jacobs. Jacob Marek and the sniper who is uh, Novotny. Is that a Russian? Probably. <laughs> Sounds Russian. Who knows? Alright. So we didn't get shot in the back. Takashi didn't, rather. So let's take advantage of this and not hit the car. Nah, that's asking for too much. Alright, let's move. Oh, okay, that's Ito, isn't it? Oh, I don't want to lose Ito. How much is that going to block? 100. Right, that's what I want to hear. Good, good. Crouch, because um, that gives, makes it a little bit harder to... like You lose like 6% chance to hit your character. Something like that. I don't know exactly how much. But around that much. So we're going to move Artem into this building. Check it out. Oh god, it's stairs. I hate stairs after that last terror mission. That was such... Uh, bullshit. Just bullshit. I don't think there's anything, because we can kind of see into these second story rooms, so I'm just going to move Artem down after this turn. The time being, no. I said a lot, don't I, for the time being. The time being. For the time being. Right, uh, so... Let's... It's kind of good for the vehicles here, actually, because it's a good bit of cover. There was no cover here before, and we can slowly move everyone up now. So I'm going to leave Vladimir here. Can he shoot? No, he can't. I'm gonna move him here. Then he can probably shoot. Yeah. Good. He can shoot this guy, actually. No, he can't. Not enough to use, as co of course. Nameless. Uh... You do have a riot shield, so I'm gonna... Ah! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> okay, that really scared the shit out of me. Oh, we're gonna lose Nameless. Uh, let's move him back. <laughs> Thank god he has to use to just withdraw. At a moment's notice. <laughs> okay. Speaking of hilarious reactions... That's got to go in a compilation at some point. Once I've got enough footage, I'm going to do a compilation of bloopers and just random shit. Because there's quite a lot of it now. Oh god, Mikhail. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that is not what we needed. So was that no cover? Was that just a complete bug? Because these things should give me 25%. That's bullshit. <laughs> Alright. So, I... <laughs> In the long term, I don't see us winning this game of Xenonauts because we've lost too many of our good soldiers. I'm going to give it my best shot, but... It's kind of disheartening when you lose so many of your good soldiers that you get attached to. It's terrible. It's just... Uh... We've lost his plasma weapon. We need to get someone to pick that up. ASAP. Fucking bastard. Let's move him over to the car. Shouldn't be able to get hit by this guy, no. Good. Actually get two snaps uh, snapshots on here. There we go. Bastard's dead, but Mikhail is probably dead, most likely. I'm gonna use Nameless, I think. Yeah. Use Nameless to go pick up that thing. And yeah, I think that that was an actual bug because these things, last I knew, they did, they blocked a certain percentage. But apparently, 
not even on this map. And that's why Mikhail died, because he was counted as being not in cover. <sighs> God, this game. It's released, but there's still some bugs. Some very annoying ones, I might add. It's going so well! Ooh, okay, nope. That's that's a nope right there. Okay, we can't break it. That's all I need to know. I want to lose Ito as well. Because if Mikhail is truly dead, then Ito is our one and only replacement for him. <laughs> God. Mikhail was like almost the full uh, top rank as well. So now we know there's quite a few aliens. We have the drone that Nameless spotted and noped right out of there. We have this Andron, and two others. And if I were to guess, there's probably one more in the back. Wait, that's the edge of the map. So, that might be all of them. So, there's a minimum, maximum of one more that we haven't seen, if I were to guess. So, what's that, four? Plus about another four or six that we've seen here. So... God, I wish we still had the tank. That wouldn't have happened. Ah, God. Uh... Take a snapshot of this guy. Yeah, why not? This guy has a good accuracy. Okay. Vladimir still has not shot. We can't do anything with him. And I have to move him up behind this car. Near yeah, Mikhail. We haven't really gotten lucky with like the people not dying when they've gotten hit. I think one person has survived a death blow. And the first <laughs> the first game I played of this, uh, I had like five people survive in a row. It was kind of like playing XCOM Any Unknown. How they survive like every time. But. Hmm. It is not looking good for us right now. Let's uh, get a good angle about here, I think. Yeah, ish. It's nothing really better. A snapshot on this guy. How much ammo do we have? I only have 12 bullets, so I don't really want to waste any shots. Send the turn. Hope Ito doesn't die. Yeah, they're going for Ito. We need to get that plasma weapon back, or we're screwed because we don't have any grenades really. And plasma weapons are the only thing that pierce that armor reliably. Maybe we could pick up one of their weapons. That's a thought. This guy had a... Who was the guy that had the massive explosive cannon? I think it was this guy. You know what? Let's do it. Takashi? This is a bad idea. I would forgot about all the other aliens. How much TUs do you have left? 26. Eh. We'll be right, I think. But, oh, that, is, that isn't even a... <laughs> right. These things aren't very accurate either. We need to get pretty close. And that wasn't an explosive weapon either. That was a <laughs> that was just a normal plasma rifle. But that's good. They do better than what the weapons we have right now. Oh, God. Yes, hells, I am. Hold on, I just gotta pause this while I reply. <laughs> Got some more NS2 things. Alright, I'm back. I just had to answer Hells and say yes to a scrim for NS2. It's quite a lot of them recently, have, like I've said in some. Ah, oh, God! <laughs> oh, God, I forgot that drone was there. You shouldn't talk about random shit while you're trying to move soldiers around. Let that be a lesson to all of you. It's not too bad, though. He didn't take much damage, but he's bleeding, unfortunately. That drone actually can't fit through that gap, so we should be right. That's bad. That was really bad. <laughs> okay, well anyway, as I was saying, uh, I'm going to have to end the episode here after this as well. But um, as I was saying, uh, in NS2, some of the episodes I've uh, said um, that I've come back to it recently, and I have, that's for the main reason is that I'm actually doing a lot better recently. So I'm trying to just keep active in S2 so I don't fall back uh, to how I was before and just aiming like shit and everything. So 
look forward to lots of NS2 videos in mixing with the Zomboid, because me and Cal Monster have been record have recording quite a bunch of those, and if all goes well, I should have his footage soon, so I can start editing that in episode 3. It should go up in a few days. There, uh, with that, that's the end of this episode. Um, I'll bring you guys back in the next one. Birdie him out. See you guys next time.